Imagine the, the pit in your stomach feeling of an election worker going to open up the ballot drop box for this year's election and seeing hundreds of uncounted ballots from last year. Now imagine being a voter waiting to find out whether your vote actually counted last year. Let's hope what's happening on the Western Slope is a lesson to election workers across Colorado. Here's Mark Salinger. Mesa County has spent the last couple of days looking at ballots. Only problem is the election ended last November. We let down the, the voters of Mesa County because there, it is a trust issue. Tina Peters is the Mesa County clerk and recorder. There was no way for me to know that, you know, that this happened until we found them. Her office just found 574 ballots that were never counted. They were sitting at the bottom of a ballot box outside the county election office for the past few months. No one knew these 2019 ballots were missing until election officials began collecting ballots this week submitted for the 2020 presidential primary. The normal procedure is to what they call sweep the box, to take the ballots out and then lock it. Uh, and so, you know, I just want to know why wasn't that done? Well, we're a mail ballot state, so people need to be able to return their mail ballot and know that that ballot's being counted. So that's really concerning. The Colorado Secretary of State's office has sent a representative to Mesa County to try and figure out how this happened. Judd Choate is the state election director in Colorado. As far as he knows, it's the first time this type of thing has taken place in the state on this scale. I'm not all that worried that we have a systematic problem. What I think is that we had a human error in this particular circumstance. So back to those uncounted votes. Mesa County is not allowed to open any of those ballots without a court order. However, they're confident there weren't enough ballots missing that would have changed the outcome of any race or measure. What it makes me think is that we have a training vulnerability in Mesa that we need to address. Now, the Secretary of State's office is not seeking a court order, so there's a, a very good chance we will never know how these people voted. The Mesa County Clerk and Recorder says there was only one ballot initiative where the vote margin was only a difference of about 96 votes. The clerk's office also says that those ballots were for a rural fire district and none of the ballots that were forgotten in the box were from that district, Kyle. If, if, I'm, if I'm there in Mesa County, I wanna know for sure whether my vote counted. Well, you will be finding out very soon. The clerk's office says that uh, all those 574 voters mm -hmm. will soon be getting a letter in the mail apologizing and telling them that theirs was one of the forgotten votes and their voting record will also be updated to show that they voted in this election. Ah, so you can keep your perfect attendance going. Exactly. All right, thank you, Mark.